Technology has always placed a strong emphasis on utilizing locally accessible resources, largely because other materials are unknown and there are no effective transportation methods. In today's video, we will be talking about the best concrete house technologies that you've never heard of. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Concrete homes? Well, you should consider it. For home design, concrete offers a wide range of alternatives. Concrete homes can take on any design, regardless of the structure's composition. In addition, concrete can include recycled materials in the mix, gaining additional favor from people who are concerned about building sustainability. A modular product that enables dwellings to be created in standard dimensions and reduces building waste is known to local workers. The conventional dimensional characteristics of buildings may mean that some of the more unusual housing designs will require more time and may not be as popular in some regions, which is the converse of the positive feature. Also, as concrete houses are widely accepted, people should know deliberately about the both negative and positive aspects of it. Insulated Concrete Forms or ICFs Insulating concrete forms are technologies for constructing concrete walls that are not removed after the concrete is dried. Rather, they remain in place forever as an integral part of the building. The insulated concrete forms can be either individual panels or preformed interlocking blocks that are joined together with plastic or metal links. The left-in-place insulated concrete forms serve as a continuous soundproofing and insulation system as well as a support for drywall on the inside and stucco, lap siding or brick on the outside. These are interlocking blocks or panels made of foam insulation that are used to create the walls of a concrete home. Let's talk about the benefits of why we should opt for insulated concrete forms. Since many systems may be built using toy building blocks, insulated concrete forms are lightweight and simple to install. The thickness of the walls or their thermal mass insulates the interior of the house from dramatic changes in outdoor temperature. Tilt-up construction Want to know what tilt-up construction is? Well, if yes, then let's go through the video. The precision and effectiveness of the design-build technique are combined with the strength and longevity of reinforced concrete in tilt-up construction. This two-pronged approach produces new structures fast and affordably, which may account for more than 650 square meters of tilt-up structures that are built each year. This method involves casting concrete walls on site and then tilting them in place using a crane. Let us now talk about the benefits of tilt-up construction. Compared to other technologies, tilt-up requires a lot less expert labor. Create build firms use software to design precisely to your requirements and eliminate expensive unknowns from the construction process. Tilt-up concrete panels assist in reducing energy expenses over time. Precast concrete Precast concrete has simply been created other than where it will be used. The majority of precast items are wet cast in factories, although others, like tilt-up panels, are cast on location. Some ornamental contractors, like those who install precast concrete countertops, push the limits of what is feasible to move in terms of size and weight by creating specialized rigs to move enormous sections of their concrete work. Precast concrete panels are created in a factory and then shipped to the construction site to be assembled. We hope you're enjoying the video so far, but before we proceed further, don't forget the drill of liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel, Build Tech. Also, to remain updated with us, make sure to press the notification bell on the left so that you're always connected with us for whatever we post. Also, there is more of today's content, so make sure to stick with us till the end of the video. Slip Form Construction for reinforced concrete walls, typically lift and stair core walls, slip form is a construction technique that is frequently cost effective for structures taller than 10 stories. When using slip form, the formwork for the walls is continuously lifted as the wall concrete is poured. Walls of concrete that have already been cast serve as support for the slip form rig when it's elevated. The expense of modifying the slip form rig must be taken into account when reducing the slip formed wall thickness of the building. This method involves pouring concrete into a continuously moving form to create a continuous wall. Ferro-cement A type of thin wall steel and concrete is known as ferro-cement is typically made of fluid flow mortar and reinforced with thin, continuously layered wire mesh that is positioned tightly together. Comparing it to traditional reinforced concrete, composite material offers a far higher tensile strength to weight ratio and better cracking behavior. Contrary to typical concrete, ferro-cement reinforcement can be put together to get the final shape desired and the mortar can be plastered directly in place without the need for a form. This is a type of construction that involves layering a thin layer of concrete over a mesh or wire frame. Gunite To create a dense, hard protective covering, a mold is coated with an artificial mixture of cement, water and sand known as gunite. Gunite is used for construction purposes including sealing cracks, fissures and locations that could be sources of leaks or structural instability, as well as for lining tunnels and other structures. 
When a two-chamber cement gun based on Carla Kelly's idea was created and introduced to the construction industry as a way to repair deteriorating concrete, it was considered to be the first instance of gunite. Gunite is a type of concrete that is applied using a pressurized hose and mixed with air as it's supplied. Recycled Concrete Concrete recycling is a rather straightforward process. It entails dismantling, removing, and crushing pre-existing concrete to create a product of a certain size caliber. By employing easily accessible concrete as a source of aggregate for new concrete or other purposes, recycling concrete preserves natural resources and removes the need for disposal. The original aggregates, as well as the hydrated cement paste, are both present in the recycled concrete aggregates. Comparing this paste to the identical virgin aggregates, the specific gravity is decreased and the porosity is increased. An increase in RCA's porosity increases absorption. Recycled concrete can be used as an aggregate in new concrete mixes. Lightweight Concrete A unique variety of concrete called lightweight concrete weighs less than a regular or ordinary concrete. Lightweight concrete often has a low density. Adding air to concrete is the fundamental idea behind the creation of the lightweight concrete. LWC is used to build roof slabs, tiny houses with load-bearing walls, and more because it has low shear strength. In addition, it's used to build garden walls, windows, and steps. This type of concrete uses lightweight aggregates such as expanded clay or shale to reduce the overall weight of the concrete. Self-Consolidating Concrete or SCC the development of SCC is regarded as one of the most significant ones in the concrete sector. We're now able to create concrete that flows easily without segregating using new admixtures and minor mix adjustments. SCC can flow into extremely complicated shapes or shapes with several reinforcement bars and still leave no gaps. SCC is an incredible flow rate concrete that never needs to be consolidated to fill forms or flow. Anyone who has worked with concrete before will understand the benefits of using concrete that practically flows into place. SCC is the type of concrete that can flow and fill forms without the need for vibration. Fiber Reinforced Concrete or FRC Enhanced with fiber concrete are a composite material that's made up of the combinations of cement, mortar, or plaster, and suitably fragmentary, distinctive, evenly scattered fibers. Concrete with fibrous reinforcement or fiber reinforced concrete or FRC has higher structural integrity. It has equally dispersed randomly orientated short discrete fibers. The cost of concrete reinforced by fibers, typically steel, glass, or plastic fibers, is lower than the cost of the hand tied rebar. The volume fraction, which is expressed as a proportion of the total volume of the synthetic structure, concrete, and fibers, is how fibers are added to a concrete mix. Normally, VF falls between 0.1 and 3%. FRC is a type of concrete that includes fibers such as steel, glass, or synthetic fibers to increase its strength and reduce cracking. And with this, we have come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Build Tech. And don't forget, if you wish to remain updated with us whenever we post, press on the notification bell on the left so that you never miss any updates from our channel and always remain updated with Build Tech. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.